Hi everybody and welcome to Sweet Pea Farm NY, a channel about sheep farming and fiber arting in upstate New York. I'm Michelle. And Chloe. And this is Chloe. And today we're going to be talking about some um, basics about needle felting. We talk a lot about needle felting on our channel, but for those of you that are new or for people who are maybe interested in checking out needle felting, um, today we're going to kind of just do some basic stuff. We're going to show you guys how to felt little hearts because Valentine's Day is coming up and I've been doing lots of hearts on things so I thought that would be a good um, easy project to tell you guys about and um, Chloe's going to do her own version of a heart because Chloe does her own version of everything which is part of why I love her right yeah, yeah. so it's cool to be your own self and to do things your own way but we just wanted to show you guys um, some basics so needle felting is um, a fiber art that is kind of not very well known but it's a really inexpensive one to get into. All you need to start needle felting is a felting needle that is a special needle that has about an inch of a working portion here that has little barbs on it. Chloe's got one too, she can show you. Chloe has a twisted needle, so it looks a little different on the camera. <clears throat> they make different gauges of needles. They make different styles, like there's a star, there's a triangle, there's a twisted needle, there's even a reverse needle, which I don't even love that much. But oh, wait. You can even needle felt them too. So, when you're getting started, oh yep, yeah, you can even use um, cookie cutters is what she's showing us that you can even use them as a pattern. If you have a heart cookie cutter or this is a snowman, you can use these, but we're not talking about that so much today. Anyway, but thank you for sharing, right? So all you need is this needle, which is very inexpensive. You can buy like a three pack of them for a couple bucks. Um, Living felt, Serafina fiber art. You can go on Amazon and get needle felting needles. And you you can get anything to start with. It's not gonna hurt. Um, a better, you know, like a 32 star or triangle is a good heavy duty needle. You're gonna break needles. So don't think, oh, I don't need three. You need three. My sister, my big sister's notorious for breaking needles because this is very, very brittle. So if you don't stab and pull out the same direction, you break the needle. So we go, we don't go through that many needles now, right? Because we're pretty used to it. But in the beginning, and you, you like break them and then the brittle end flies and you're like, oh my God, now you have this like shard of metal. So be careful. It's, they're very, very sharp. You might stab yourself, which hurts. I did like, that once. Yeah. And, um... And then I use often these little sponges that we get at Walmart in the car section. They're just um, for washing your car. Uh, they travel great, so you can take them in the car with you. Um, I take them to farmer's markets and craft shows. They come in fun colors, and um, like they're not, they get worn out. Like, they'll get all caved in and wooly, so you just throw them out and spend another $1.50 and get another one. So they're pretty inexpensive. So really, you can start needle felting with $3 in tools and I mean we have the sheep so we don't have to pay for the wool essentially even though we pay to feed them but you can buy wool on Etsy or um, Living or you, Felt. Or you can get sheep and shear their wool off. Or them. you can get sheep which is another great idea. I would say buy sheep always but if you can't buy sheep then Living Felt, Serafina Fiber Art, um, other sheep farmers, maybe you have a local sheep farmer that has some wool they want to sell, and um, and they might be able be willing to to share some with you. So, <clears throat> simple, quick to get started quickly to make these little hearts. You're just going to take a little tuft of wool. Are you going to make one on there? No, I'm going to make a small one. No, do the heart on there. Okay. So you're going to take a little tuft of wool. You're going to fold one over so that you have a flattish side you can do it on here you're gonna make the shape on there and then you fold another side over to make a point so that's where you're starting is to make a point now I don't know so now I'm just going to stab that into place you stab straight down and pull right back up in the same direction you went in if you want to go at an angle, that's fine, but make sure you're pulling back up at the, the direction that you went in the wall. So you just stab, make sure that you don't stab your fingers, and it's going to stick to the wall like that. So now I just have my point stabbed in place, 
and I'm going to lift that up and flip it over because it's going to make it kind of furry on the other side. You'll see like the, the wool that stabbed through. Then I'm just going to pull down the top of the tuft to make a rounded top. I think I'm going to have my camera lady switch and uh, hold over so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So hold on. Okay, so now we have a top view. Chloe's gonna help me with the camera because we're not very high tech over here. And you can see I've just folded the top fluff down towards my point here, keeping my point intact, watching my fingers, and I'm gonna just make a rounded top. I'm not worrying about the heart shapedness to it yet. Keeping the point and a rounded top. I'm doing this quickly. You're gonna have take your time and enjoy the stabbing because it's a blast. But, not really if you stab your hand. Well, it's not if you stab your hand, but it's fun to poke things, right? So now you just kind of take your needle and make that, can everybody see? Make that little indent on the top to make it a heart, like a little butt cheek, right? Hey! <laughs> so you have the little indent on the top, and then you just kind of felt in and solidify your sides a little and make the little bumps on the top of the heart even. But how do you keep do... it still there? Okay, hold on. We got to keep that still. I just don't get how you do it without stabbing your hands. Like, it's well, you got to keep your fingers away from where you're stabbing. Don't stab towards your fingers. Stab towards. You should stab towards the the sponge and not your fingers. But That's what I'm trying with to the do. heart shape, you just want to be careful. You, you don't have to stab super deep. You're just. This is the only part of the needle. This is the only part of the needle that works. So just. Stab, stab, stab like that. Wait, what is and it? as you're using the um, the needle, the little barbs make the fibers go in and felt to each other and not come back out. So the more you stab, the more you're condensing the wool to make it stay in shape. There we have our little heart. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, our little felting tutorial about how to make cute little felted hearts. Some ideas you could do with this is um, you could make little garlands. You could take these and um, hot glue them to um, cards if you wanted to make them, put them on little valentines and then draw a picture around them of like, you know, a sheep with a heart or something. You can, if you're into needle felting and you have plenty of wool, you can always add little hearts into things to make them cute little Valentine's themed gifts. And I'm sure you guys have tons of other ideas. So they're just something quick and simple to make. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about felting today. It's been frigid cold here, so we're doing lots of fiber arting and shepherding as best we can. Right, Glow? Mm -hmm. We got lots of baby lambs in the barn hopping around. Anything else you want to say to our viewers before we go? Make sure you like and subscribe our videos. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And I thank you to Ben and Andrea at VW Family Farms. They just tried out our dryer balls on their channel and I know had sent a lot of people over here. So we really appreciate that. I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless you guys.